So I have something a little bit different I want to share with you today. This is the Stargazer UL Tarp from Serotonin Outdoors. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, keep watching. All right, two things before we get started. First, I want to thank Serotonin Outdoors for sending me this tarp so that I could share it with you. And the second thing is, if the name sounds familiar, Serotonin Outdoors, it's because these are the people that made that uh, titanium wood gas stove that is rectangular in shape. And I'll put a, a link to that stove review in the video description at the end of this video if you're interested. By the way, they have another version that has come out of the stove, essentially the same but with improvements, many of which are the ones that I had suggested when I did my review of the stove and they've incorporated. I don't know if it's because of me or not, but the stove is much better functioning and I will be reviewing that at some point in the near future. But today it's all about this tarp and I, I wasn't even aware that they made tarps and uh, boy am I ever glad they offered to send this to me because this has become my favorite tarp and I have a whack of tarps. I don't use them all the time but I do like my tarps and I bring them out on, on occasion and set them up and this one really is something special. So rather than just go on about it, why don't I set it up and then I'll give you all the features and specifications for it. All right so I'm not sure that uh, you'll everything will be in frame here so if it's, I don't get all of the setup in frame I'll certainly be walking around with the camera showing you all the key features so I have two trees I'm going to say about 12 feet apart as I mentioned there is a ridge line or a well you don't need a ridge line because it's incorporated right into the tarp and you'll see that in a moment if I can get that one to come out here it is so we'll start with that one over here on this tree So as I mentioned, the, the guy lines and the ridge line are all included with the tarp. They're already mounted on and they are made of Dyneema. So it is a reflective Dyneema cord. It's like very thin paracord, but so much stronger than paracord is. Run it over to this tree. Now I'm gonna fly this fairly high. I'm not gonna take it right down to the ground and uh, I think it, it does a better job of showing you everything that's oh, not that one or this one. Here we go. Better job of uh, showing you all the features of it. If I take it and set it up just a little bit higher. Yeah, somewhere around there, I guess that looks pretty good. Now let's tighten this up. I'll take it tighten up on both ends. So it has adjusters attached to the tarp. Again, I'll show you that in a moment when I get it up close that allow you just to pull the tarp into tautness. I'll do a little bit from both ends. All right. Now, if you want to use a ridge line with it, there's no reason why you couldn't, but honestly, there's no need because this does a really good job. Now, let's see. Woo. Windy. I'm going to take this corner. I'm going to take it out to this tree just to show you an option for setup. High like this. I'll probably have to come back and readjust in a moment. This corner, I'm going to got my guidelines tied up. Now that is not a good thing to do, Mark. How did that happen? Last time I put it away, I guess I didn't do as good a job. There we go. As I thought I did. Segregating them one out from the other. Take that one out to about here. Get a tent peg out. Right. Set that one in low. Next two, I'm going to set lower to the ground. All right. Take that one down pretty low. Still some clearance off of the ground. Now I'll come over to the last corner. Okay. 
take you down to the ground. Of course, that's where the rock is. There we go, that's better. That's snug. How about this one? That could be a little snugger. How about this one? Still pretty snug. And this one. Snug. All right. All set up. All right, I'm going to take the camera off of the tripod, walk around, and show you all the key features for this tarp. All right, just before I take you up to close to the tarp, I want to show you one more feature about the stuff sack itself, and that is where the tent pegs are inside. So it doesn't have a separate bag for the, for the tent pegs, but it has a bag that's built in and closes by Velcro down one side. So I really, really like this feature. This is well thought out because now you don't have tent pegs inside with the tarp at risk of poking through if you're not careful about how you set them in. So they are segregated with an individual pocket that's closed by Velcro. Here's one of the tent pegs. They're only oh, about five inches long. I'll put that in the video description. Good quality tent pegs, just the same. I don't know that I want anything longer. Sometimes tent, longer tent pegs give you a little bit more options setting them up, but not necessarily. Look at this. The bag is all seam, not seam sealed, but it's got a ribbon down the outside just for a little extra strength. Even the button lock and cord, that's Dyneema, and it has a little hypalon, I think is the material that they call it here, that allows you to put the cord through. Everything, oh yeah, and a pull on this end of it. Everything about this speaks quality for sure. All right, let's put that away. I'm going to grab my notes and we'll take a walk around the tarp. All right, I think a minute ago I said that the tarp was 27.9 uh, ounces. It's not. It's 29.75 ounces. I apologize for that. Or 560 gram. That's everything that is in the bag. So it is made of a 15 denier um, nylon with a 3,000 millimeter hydrostatic head for waterproofness and it is double silicone so it's silicone coated on both sides and of course it is ripstop. Let's see if I can bring you features of the ripstop on it. May or may not show up there. Yeah that's showing up. Very good. Okay now let's just start right here at this corner. So the corner itself the material is known as Hypalon and it's it's an extra tough material so it reinforces the corners and this is where all the tiles are are made of this material and you can see the extra work done to stitch it and it gives you some options right here so I could put a tent peg right through there if I wanted to or maybe attach it to an another guy line or ridge line from there. This is a corner so you wouldn't attach it necessarily to a ridge line but it just shows that there is some extra thought put into this and here is what is really key about this. If I can get this piece of velcro pulled out of the way. How did I do that? Somehow I got it not. You know what, we're going to go to another corner to show you that. Ah, this is a good idea. This is one right here. Okay, so here is the side tie-out. So you can see it's half moon shape, same hypalon material, same reinforced stitching all the way around, all kinds of reinforcements to hold it on. Now, let's take a look. What you can see right here is there is a Velcro that wraps around the cord. So you wrap the cord up in your hand and you can close it on around the adjuster using this Velcro so it keeps them out of the way. I'm going to find another corner to show you the adjuster and how that operates. So let's go up along the edge. By the way, there's the serotonin outdoor logo on it. Okay, now this is better. All right, this is a proper look. Let's see if we can get it with some good lighting on it. All right, do you see the adjuster? This is the type of adjuster that if you want to loosen it off, you lift on that adjuster a little bit and it takes the, gives you some slack and if you want to tighten it up you pull on the cord and it pulls it tight, nice and tight. So yeah, that's a really good idea. No more messing with uh, taut line hitches at the attachment point out around the tree or tent peg or anything else. All right, I'm going to come back to the what would be the ridge line. So this is the same at both ends. Now I've done a few modifications to this. I'm going to show you as I go along. This is probably a better show of the Velcro wrap that would go around the cord when it's all bundled up and the adjuster again. So on the ridge line I tied out just two little cord uh, little loops of a yellow cord and that just to distinguish it so I know which one is actually the ridge line. So when I grab it from the sack I know which one to pull to the tree to to um, 
you know, to set the ridge line. Now, here's a modification I made on this one. Let's see if I can show it. That's not going to show up well with the lighting here. I'll show it again on another one. Little tiny miniature carabiners. So what I did, they didn't come with this, is I put a loop on the end, a, a bowline loop, come around the back here. You know what, I've got another idea. One of the side ones, I'll undo it and that'll show this better. All right, so here's my other side one wrapped up in Velcro. Let's undo the Velcro here. All right, that's a better idea. Okay, there's the little mini carabiner. I put a loop on the end, as you can see, with a bowline. And then I bought these little mini carabiners, and they give me options to do a couple of things. As you saw, I was able to wrap it around each tree to use as a ridge line. And one of the trees that I flew the corner out on, it just means you can wrap around and, wrap and hook it onto yourself without having to tie any knots. At the same time, having the bowline on the end of the rope allows me to have a loop that I can use with the tent stake without having to uh, tie one at the moment. So it's nice to have these all set up and ready to go. You just deploy them and hook them on whatever way you want to. Another look at one of the tie outs. This is where I've got it pinned to, or staked into the ground. You can see the stake down here. It's nice that it's yellow. I might put a different color pull on it just to distinguish it a little bit more so I don't walk away from it because being that yellowish brown, boy, that'll mix in here in the ground very quickly. Speaking of color, look at this. This rusty brown color, absolutely gorgeous. It's perfect for out here. Really, really like this. This is one of the things I like most about the tarp, I think, is the color. I have some tarps that, yeah, they're nice, but they just don't fit in because of their colors. Now, here is a key feature, and I'm sure some of you have already noticed this. Look at the sides. You can see that they're all have a curve to them, and it's a double curve here. Would be nicer if I pulled that out. Can you see how that works? This is called a cantonary cut tarp. And it's done like this very specifically. So it's maybe a three meter by three meter or a 10 by 10 tarp but it is not perfectly square because it has those curves on those two two curves there and on all four sides it has those two curves so what's the purpose of those curves it allows it to do what it's doing right now it allows it to be tautened out just nicely you don't get any flap on the sides when you get a good set on the tarp it pulls it out and it just it just remains in position just the way you want it it's a feature that I think was developed first by hammockers for, and hammock tarps, and it just seems to work so much better than a regular straight-sided tarp does. Now, that doesn't mean it's all good, because this kind of cuts down on some of the options for tarp setups. This has basically only got a few setups. I think you'll find that this was designed primarily with hammock people in mind, and this would provide a good hammock tarp at, uh, like I said, 10 foot by 10 foot. You can get that set up just perfect for hammocking. It's not going to flap around in the wind. It's going to work very well for hammocking. There is no center tie out along the ridge line as you can see so that limits the number of tie a uh, number of uh, setups you can do but boy if you're not into multiple setups for your tarp then you can set this up very easily very conveniently very quickly you can see where i have it tied to the tree just to give myself a bit of height here let's get in underneath give you an idea and boy isn't that color wonderful Really like this tarp. And you can see the ridge line is reinforced and taped. So absolutely waterproof. Very, very nice. All right, I think I've shown you enough about the tarp. We can wrap this video up. All right, a few closing thoughts for the Stargazer UL Ultra Light Tarp from Serotonin Outdoors. Boy, do you know, I, I wasn't expecting a tarp of this quality, but they have really gone the extra mile and putting together something special. The quality control on this and the design features, this is really just an outstanding tarp. You know, it's uh, features like, well, just the bag, for instance. I, like, I just can't get over, and I can't tell you, this is no small 
small thing. If, you, if you've tried this, you know what I'm talking about. Trying to stuff a tarp back into a stuff sack that isn't large enough is just a pain in the butt to say the least, especially when it's wet because it's been raining or it's just dew or whatever reason or it's really windy. You want the bag to be big enough to get everything back in with ease and this, this bag certainly does. Attention to details, so well constructed. Even the, to think about the segregated pouch for the, for the tent stakes inside, eight tent stakes of course, eight tile points so you have just enough there. It all goes together so well. The tile points reinforced with that, reinforced with that hypolong and all extra kinds of stitching. The Dyneema guide lines that are extra strong, you're never going to break one of those and they're ultra light and reflective at the same time which is probably a good thing because they are black and you would want a flashlight when you get out from underneath this at night just to make sure you didn't trip over them of course. The adjusters on the are on the tarp so you can pull it from the tarp to get your adjustment without having to struggle with a taut line hitch taut line and hitch work. This just works so much easier to do that. The little Velcro wraparounds that holds all the cord in place again so they don't get all tangled up running loose in your bag. You don't need a ridge line with this. It has a built-in ridge line. Yeah, you know, it's uh, there's actually extra material. I could have chosen trees at least 25 feet apart and still had enough ridge line uh, guy line tie out to, to to work them. The Cantonary cut, it does limit the amount of setups you can do with it, but if you're okay with just a couple of setups with your tarp because you're hammocking or you just, you know, the simple setup like I have for a day use, I could have brought that right down to the ground on both sides so I'd have an A-frame and limit any water or wind from coming in underneath it. But this time of year it's nice to be able to get a little air underneath the tarp so and have the headroom that you can work and sit underneath as well. I, I'm, I know I'm gushing, but I can't say enough about this tarp. They really did a good job of putting it together. All right, having said all of that, I'll put the links in the video description as well as the specifications for it. But if you have any comments or questions, put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.